is the way to go. And proceeding with other stories of the day, it will not be business as usual for those plotting to engage in exam malpractices in the upcoming national examinations. Deputy President Trigathe Gashagwa has announced plans to collaborate with the Cybercrime Unit at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to nab those who will be found culpable. He was speaking during the launch of the 2022 national examination season. And as Serfine Acheng reports, the Ministry of Education is facing unprecedented times with a population of over 3.4 million candidates set to sit for three national examinations. Education CS Ezekiel Machogu is tasking his team to go the extra mile to ensure delivery. Preparations for the national exams are complete, according to the government. A total of 3,416,048 candidates are expected to sit for their national examinations in less than three weeks. <laughs> Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa presided over the launch of the November-December exam season at Miti Honey House in Nairobi, where he pledged the government's commitment to ensure the success of the process. When drought has affected schools, especially these scholars who constitute around 70% of our secondary schools. In addition to the food distribution in arid and semi-arid areas, measures are being put in place to ensure students do not miss exams due to hunger. A total of 1,287,597 candidates will sit the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment at Grade 6, while 1 million 244,188 will be sitting the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams and 884,263 will be sitting the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams. This proving to be an overwhelming year for the Ministry of Education, which is now stretched in terms of manpower and resources, having to, for the first time in history, administer five national examinations within the same year. We have come up with necessary arrangements to ensure that all goes well. So we will make Kenya proud. Did you assure me that we will make the country proud? Yes. Did you assure me? Yes. Nick like all other government offices, is operating under financial constraints. I therefore wish all of us who are participating in the examinations wish to appeal to all that we exercise prudence in use of resources and uh, deliver the exams in the most cost-effective way possible. According to the examination timetable by the Kenyan National Examination Council, the first cohort of grade 6 learners will seat their KPSEA beginning 28th November until 30th November 2022 alongside the KCPE candidates. Thereafter, KCSE candidates will seat the exams between November 21st and December 23rd, 2022. We have vetted 46,000 941 heads of institution that will play the role of center managers. We also have 48,182 executing the role of supervisors and 206,548 invigilators. And at the end of these examinations, we will also have 46,751 examiners. These are the teachers that mark uh, uh, all these exams uh, once they, they are administered. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa leading the tough talk against those plotting to engage in exam malpractices, warning that it will not be business as usual. When you put them, put exams online and say, at a fee, I can give you the questions. Is a lie. And Kenyans like being conned, I don't know why. Even as we ask Kenyans not to be conned, we have also given instructions to the DCI to activate with speed the cybercrime detectives to go through the net and hunt these fellows day and night. The ones who are cheating Kenyans that they can leak their, their questions to them. The supervisors and the invigilators, even them, your excellence, sir, this time round we said 
they will be personally held accountable, such so that uh, as they open the papers, particularly the second paper, they will be able to uh, indicate what time they opened it, and they also, uh, it will also be witnessed by the security personnel, such so that uh, without the checks and appearances, we hope that we will be able to deliver uh, something that Kenyans will be proud about because your excellency, education is a key and we cannot be able to entertain, we cannot be able to accommodate any kind of malpractice, any kind of leakage, any kind of uh, 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 thing that will be able to compromise the integrity of this national exam. In 2023, the Ministry of Education hopes to achieve a resumption to normalcy in the academic schedule that was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Learners in pre-primary, primary and secondary school are expected back to school on 23rd January 2023 until 21st April 2023. Learners will have a half-term break within the 13-week first term beginning the 23rd to the 26th of March 2023 and close for a two-week holiday from 22nd April to 7th May 2023. Term will commence on 8th May 2023 to 11th August 2023 with a half-term break scheduled for 29th June to 2nd July 2023 and an end-term break slated between 12th to 27th August 2023. Learners will wind up the year with a 10-week third term, which will commence on 28th August 2023 to 3rd November 2023. They will then break to pave way for the 2023 national examinations. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.